It's okay to park here, right? Okay, I wasn't sure. Have you been over here before? Uh, yeah, my house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just down there. Well, I guess you know the whole area. Is it okay to walk around this park and stuff then? Sure. And this side's okay too? Yeah. There's, okay. Uh, like private beaches, like past that bill. You'll see when you get down there. There's like a private beach over there. Okay. You have a park launch down here. Huh? You have you have free range right here, and then across. If you walk straight through the field, there's an opening in the fence, and you get right through the ocean. Okay. Is this where that abandoned building is too over here? Or there's some kind of abandoned building with a bunch of paint all over it or something? Yeah, there's a bunch of those. Oh, okay, where are those all at? So, Farther uh, down? Yeah, you're going to see uh, there's a road that runs parallel to this. Should you walk all the way down there or can you drive through that road and down or whatever? I don't know how they are about... There's no parking on parking in this or what? Right now. The thing is to get to the uh, bunkers that you're talking about. The old buildings. Yeah. Uh, you have to. You gotta walk. It's in. quite a few walk, yeah. far distance. Okay. It's not bad. It's like uh, I'm gonna say a ten minute walk. Oh, that's not too bad. Down a road that way, and uh, there's a staircase going up to the top of the bunker, and you got really places you can pee at around, or the bathrooms uh, anywhere. Maybe they got a porta potty. Here. There's a bathroom right here. Oh, perfect. Go up to the to the corner road right here, and like right through this building okay. is a. Uh, Another little building and then a bathroom. A couple of bathrooms. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you. Sure. Very helpful. Cool. Enjoy. You too. Thanks. Have a nice day. Okay. Let's go check it out. Guys, talk to me. Okay. We are walking around. We are walking around. Having a good time. There's an art piece over here. Yeah. People come over here to, um, a lot of hippies, they come over to the beach, and I think the, I saw a picture online where a, a gal had taken her top off. So, uh, I guess some of the hipsters and slash hippie kind of dippy types like to take a little get a little topless down at the beach down there so you just never know this is a fucking you're not supposed to have the flag on the ground I know that much I don't know that much about a lot of things but I do know that you are not supposed to put the flag on the ground and right here in the National Park Service under their own watch watchful eye probably the most park rangers here is within a 50 mile radius or something a damn flag on the ground and they just keep driving by it and they're supposed to dispose of pla flags a proper way and everything there's a whole fucking there's a whole routine about it unbelievable anybody out there or we got a live stream going on or what talk to me y'all type in the chat I haven't heard any chatter here in a minute I don't know how far I'm deep I'm going to go in here. I want to see this sculpture or whatever the hell this thing is. I wish I could fly around this, but this is a national park and they... Warning. You're not supposed to fly drones in national parks. Unfortunately, it fucking sucks. Because this would be kind of fun to fly through this thing. and I don't know. There's not too much actually to fly over here anyway, but... What's this dock down here? This old Burga at the beach. This old pier. This old pier down here. At the beach, man. I'm at the beach. Is that a modern art masterpiece? There's a dude down there. I don't know, Bob. cool though we are stuck i was just letting you guys enjoy the view look at this Raining. bridge i don't know 
what that was. Look at this view. Just look at, shut up and look at the view. Look at the view. Very beautiful. The problem with that flag is that walking over it, and yes, your flag does not belong there. What am I supposed to do? I'm not going to go properly dispose of the flag. I don't know what the protocol is. Now I got to go do something about it. Look all the way down there. You guys see? That's the Empire State Building right there, right in the middle. And I think that building to the right, those are that one building, this is a real skinny apartment building over by Central Park, I think. That is beautiful sky. There's the, um, you can see the, there it is, the Freedom Tower. That's how far we are from the city. Way down there, isn't it? There's a guy walking his dog. I guess it could be park services too, just like something. Let's walk on our way. Well, let's go see these bunkers and stuff. What the hell was this? It looks like it's almost part of an airplane the shape in there but I'm guessing maybe it's something to do with the ship maybe it's a part of a blade from a propeller let's go see some abandoned buildings and stuff over here it's a shame I can't fly I was really hoping I could fly the drone around here but I didn't know how official this shit was over here uh, Damn, they got U.S. Park Police fucking Looks boat like scrap there metal. Too. Well, you don't want to take anything. It is art to text mankind as struggle. Hey, wait, is the flag gone? Holy shit, they're listening to us. I didn't see the flag now. It's gone, guys. They they moved it. It's fucking gone. They've already came. Holy shit. Love you, bud. They're on to us. No, I'm kidding. It's right here. <laughs> that was freaky, though, for a second, wasn't it? Wee! Yeah, there it is. You know what? I don't know. Are we supposed to do something with it? I don't know. Fold it into something and... You're not allowed to throw these uh -huh. away. I don't know. What am I supposed to do with this fucking thing now? Now I gotta do something with it. Twenty-one gun salute. I don't know what to do with it. Here, I'm gonna set it here by this thing. There we go. I put it in the flag depository. Perfect. Well done. This is the park police station. It looks like a fly it on the Prius. Their station, their park police station is like a run down abandoned building. That doesn't give me much faith in the fucking system over here. All right, this is an abandoned, uh, it's an abandoned fort. Um, yeah abandoned there's a road here what's up with this the guy said he didn't know about the parking I see parking right there there's a private residence okay you guys probably want to see like this private residence somebody still lives there weird this guy said to walk it looks far as fuck that's where I want to fly the drone through this fucking warehouse thing over here it look cool as fuck in the pictures. Yeah, I'll just scope it out. Maybe it'll be like a little bit off the park property or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll luck out. If it's like next to the park and not in the park, it's all good. Do not enter residence only. This guy fucking lives here. Unbelievable. So look, you can park over here. 
residents only. There's people that live over here in these little... Okay, parking and vehicular access by permit and authorized only. Vehicles will be ticketed and towed. Unbelievable, bud. Towing costs the owner's purse. Going to the beach, park at Jacob Riz. Did I park? Did I park at the right place? He says like a 10 minute watch. I think we're all good. I think walking's fine, but you're not supposed to drive or park. So, okay, that guy was right. We wouldn't have been able to drive through here. And you get like a huge fine, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to fuck with that. Common WTF, yes, doing it for the veterans only pass you need. Do we have any veterans in the chat? My dad's a veteran. He served during... Is that a church straight ahead? He served during Vietnam, but he was in Germany. He wasn't stationed in Vietnam. Burger, a dang patriot. I mean, my dad, I guess, has got some... You know, he did... There's some kind of missile. I guess it's, uh, you know, missile monument or something. Some missile to death and destruction. Fun. Let's murder people and make a bunch of money off of it. Yay. You know, it's like when they're profiting from the, from the, the pain. Wars help bless this place. When they're, when they're profiting off of the wars and they're profiting off of the deaths of people and shit. That's fucked up. I think that's fucked up. Can you go in these buildings? I'm trying to see. I'm going to see if this building's unlocked. This is the one I really want to go down. This one. Alex here. I don't know if these are. You're supposed to be able to go in these. This looks kind of fucked. Yo, up. burger bud. This looks abandoned. It is locked. Fun. So cool so far. So far, we haven't got to fucking see anything. But you know, whatever. I'm gonna try to maintain a positive attitude, and we'll just go on down to the next thing and see if we can see something down here definitely gonna get some exercise walking around it looks like glad I didn't bring that fucking backpack drone and shit too cause you know I'm not trying to fucking get in trouble about that even though there's plenty of fucking places to fly a drone here look at this giant field of like soccer field a giant football field just all this land not being used for goddamn anything plenty of places they could have had a little airstrip or something the thing with drones and like RC planes, RC planes, you want a big open field where you can just go fly it around and do maneuvers. But with FPV drones, you want like a drone park where you can fly through obstacles and cool shit. They're kind of two different entities and all the laws that they have now are for RC planes. And then you got all these freaking idiots too with DJI drones filming stupid shit they're not supposed to like sport flying over sports games and just dumb shit that people don't look up any drone rules and laws and things is this like the community garden this looks like a lot of cops and shit probably that work for this like live here too these gardens I mean it's the winter I guess that's why but I wonder what they look like when they're like flourishing because just got here what tell. is this place it's hard to tell in the winter everything looks like shit this is called Fort... that's the graveyard where we bury this the is... snitches hey you said it not me you gonna put it in a hip hop song and get arrested now like the rest of those guys <laughs> go for it that's you bud now they had um they had Fort T4 parking lot March 15th to September 15th. They have events out here. Some theater. RTC Young People's Workshop. What? Rockaway Theater Company. Okay, I want to really see this fucking building down here. Is what I'm really excited about. Oh my god, are you... I thought my shoe was coming outside. My dad was in the Korean War, but he was just a pay clerk. 
I bet he loves MASH like my dad does. He loves that fucking show. Here's what I want to see this building down here. The cell phone signal is getting less and less, so I think we made the right choice. The farther I walk over here, it's starting to get scuffed. So he wasn't in the war, technically. I mean, he did shit for the war. They were flying shit from Germany to Vietnam and all kinds Former of stuff. Former pile, ha ha, full metal jacket <coughs> is the goat. He was guarding B-52 bombers. And he did clean up after the war. Big ass planes. Let's see if we can get over here or what. There were some artists that had some kind of art exhibit in this building. I don't look like there's access to it from this side. It's hard to tell. Now that I look over here, it looks like there's no access from this side. That's fucking stupid. Nice and empty space is very beautiful. I guess so. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I wish I could show you something cooler. This is all we got right now. Hopefully we'll be able to get into this, get into this um, warehouse over here. I saw a bunch of people, that, there was like a bunch of silver balls in it that this artist put inside, like a thousand mirrored balls. So, it was to my understanding that it's open to the public. Because like, why else would there be an art installation if it's not? Must be building not, a new bean in Chicago. If you're not supposed to be going in it, you know? So, eh. This is service vehicles, but the guy said everything's good to go on on foot. You just don't want to be driving. <clears throat> oh, here this gate's open too. Cool. I think we're good to go down this gate. This must be where all the abandoned buildings are. Looks like they lock it up at night or something. <coughs> okay. There wasn't any sign that said don't go in here or anything, so I think we are good to go. Prevent cars too. Yeah, yeah, it was just was wide enough for walking. You fucking kidding? They've got They've got... I saw a video of an abandoned military armory and it blew up in the area can see through it. It looks like they've got gates rolled down everywhere and have it all boarded up. Man, what a bunch of assholes. Are you fucking kidding? Why can't people go... Piece of shit taggers, the reason this is fenced off. It's not the taggers, it's the government trying to control everything, even abandoned spaces. It's fucking bullshit. It's like this obviously obviously they are not doing shit with this space. What would it hurt to go inside there? You know what it is? It's insurance stuff. They don't want to be It's vandals and taggers. No, dude. it's not. They don't want to be in they don't want to be um liable with insurance if somebody gets hurt inside well, lots it. of effort protecting it's abandoned not. property. You know what? And quit arguing who's your one three yes, three seven and dope sick people. Yes. There might be time an opening out. somewhere. Just time him out. Seriously, are you seriously coming here to argue with me, bro? I just told you why. Most of it was insurance liabilities and just shit like that. Somebody gets hurt and something fucking... It's too... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, seriously, don't come in here and argue because you don't know what you're talking about either. It's not the taggers, dude. They're not hurting the property value on a fucked up building. They care if people... Actually, when people tag and do, like, art on these buildings... I don't know how federal property is ran versus public. Neither do you, apparently. Time them out. It asks the lawyers. Just time them out. Seriously. I'm not here to have them argue. Band Ten bud. minutes. Take it somewhere else. Yeah. You know... 
Actually, when people tag the buildings and make is this art an old military base buildings, or? It actually adds more property value to a lot of these places. You're and, banned by. And adds to the tourism and reason that people want to come and see them. So, there was a whole group of buildings called Five Points over in Long Island City, and that was the whole reason people would go to see all the graffiti and shit. So, actually, you're. Uh, the vandals and the graffiti artists, as you say, are actually the point for a lot of t tourism and brings a lot of money and economy over to a lot of these areas. So it's actually just the opposite. And it makes the uh, the neighborhoods more sought after so much that they're actually paying the vandals and the graffiti artists I used to, be a rap to, put artist. street art, to put street art up on the sides of these fucking buildings that they come and destroy all their abandoned buildings and now they're getting paid to put murals on these big fucking giant fucking condos and shit for all these yuppies to move into so I guess what if you're like a bohemian type person you walk over here and you go to the beach I can hear that there's the ocean I can see it I don't know about it being a 10 minute walk. Jesus Christ. A lot more fucking than 10 minutes, ain't it? What are you guys? Just a 10 minute walk, by the way.